life is too short to drink bad wine. Are we agreed? Yes. yes. The only limits in your life are those you accept yourself. Circle of life, step outside the circle as often as you can, as regularly as you want to, and your life will grow. The quicker you step out, the quicker your circle grows. I do still think they're completely crazy, but uh, good luck to them anyway. I'm here to um, throw out a few seed thoughts to help change your attitude and your way of living. Winners never quit, and quitters never win. And my idea of a winner is someone who gets up just one more time than they fall down. We, we go through some dodgy places, but it's again me just utterly trusting John. I know that he's giving me good information, and I've just got to go with it and believe that I'm safe with him. Our happiness, our quality of life, is not based on our circumstances, but on our response to our circumstances. Couldn't change my blindness, but I've changed my attitude to my blindness. And the funny thing is I'm still blind as a bat, but now I'm a happy bat. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yes. It's not the blowing of the wind that determines your destiny in life, but the set of your sails. Using ski poles to help us with our, um, um, with our pace, etc. A lot of it is going to be mental, I think. It's a long time to slog eight or ten hours a day, seven days a week. Attitude is everything, and attitude is a personal choice. No matter what your personal circumstances tonight, you can go home with none of your circumstances changing, but your quality of life going up significantly by you changing your attitude. closing quotes that have meant a lot to me. One is a Danish proverb that says this, life uh, does not consist in holding a good hand of cards, but in playing a poor hand well. I was so angry and upset when I was told I was going to go blind. What have I done to deserve that? I had a rotten hand of cards dealt to me. I wanted to throw in my hand, start again. You can't do that. And then through my brother sailing to, to Australia, I realized that in fact every one of us have got a winning hand of cards right where we are. Whoever you are, whatever your circumstances now, you've got a winning hand of cards. When we fly to Australia, we've got to fly over about 450 miles of open sea between East Timor and Darwin. If we land in the sea, there's lots of big sharks there. What do we do with sharks? We've got new, and I've got speech output technology in my plane, but we've also got uh, high-tech uh, briefcases which are shark resistant. And as long as we hold them tight in our hands, if the sharks see them, they won't attack out of professional courtesy to other lawyers and solicitors. Wonderful. So, I must close, and I'm closing with a quote from Lawrence of Arabia, one of my heroes, and this sums up all that Gordon was saying, your fantastic uh, president of Rotary International here, he said, this is what uh, uh, Lawrence of Arabia says, all men dream dreams, but not all men dream equally, for there are those who dream at night in the empty recesses of their minds, and they wake in the morning to find, behold, it was just a dream, but there are other men and women like all of us here today, who are dangerous dreamers. I love this. Dangerous dreamers. For these are men and women who dream in the daytime with their eyes open, like all of you here today, that they might fulfill their dreams. And so, great woman of inner wheel, don't be a daydreamer, but be a dangerous dreamer. Thank you very much.